Right, it's tea time. My lovely wife's downstairs cooking it. And then there. Uh, and I've just been researching into a camera, right? And the thing is, right, that I, you know how I said to you guys I wanted a new vlogging camera, right? Well, I think I've decided on which one I was going to get. Now, this one here is obviously the Sony RX100 Mark I. And I was going to get a Panasonic. I'm aiming towards Panasonic because Panasonic do a great line of cameras that are cheaper than Sony and sometimes half price cheaper, which is really weird. So, um, I was looking at getting just another point and shoot like this with a flip up screen. But one thing that's always really killed me every time I edit a vlog is the sound quality. I was editing with the Sony RX10 Mark II, which is my professional camera, and it's just an absolutely amazing the sound quality. You can't beat the shotgun microphone, and I just feel like the vlogs have gone downhill, and I don't mind other people's. Like when I watch other people's and they just use one of these, it sounds fine, but it's just, I think when I see the audio levels in my own timeline when I'm editing, it just bugs the crap out of us. And I feel like the better production value your vlogs have got, the more subscribers you'll get and the more worthwhile it is doing this type of thing. And being a video editor and a cameraman, you do tend to strive for like the greatness of video editing and try and do the best work that you can. And I just feel like we're not doing that. I told you last week, though I didn't talk about technology, I was going to talk about it again this week, because it's a bit funny, isn't it? I mean, I do appear to be a bit under the weather if I'm not talking about technology and on that note we need to give Tracy another video editing lesson soon don't we darling <laughs> yes there. you will so what have we got then oh we've got a cauliflower cheeseburgers with cool. potatoes and spaghetti are we needing to do a weekly shop soon like yes that? we do uh, i need to do one maybe this week yeah because we're running out and look soon. at that good little boy straight on his mat and his son Alright guys, Hi. my name's Adam Brown, this is uh, Tracy Brown, in case you forgot who we are. I do apologise right about like having two last weeks week, off, huh? oh two weeks off, we two, two weeks, weeks off. Ooh, yeah, two um, weeks. But we did do a little video last Oops. week to say obviously you know why we weren't doing it, it was to get used to this thing. Now as you'll see most of this video is a camera test, right? Um, but this is what we opened the vlog on um, and you'll see obviously all the tests that we do. Like a visit from your nanny um, and Tracy's <laughs> gardening tips and that about growing uh, tomatoes. But not tip! <laughs> but the idea is m uh. most vlogging cameras are for auto focus and this is really bad at it. So we've discovered a little trick where you put in manual focus but there's an auto focus button which focuses it for you. Because unless you're used to manual focus, it takes ages like turning the ring. I we were trying to learn how to actually focus doing it ourselves as well. But so it's a it's a happy medium, shall we say. It just yeah. means you've got to press the button like on the touch screen like that and then go, Yeah, we in focus and then start talking. But you know, whatever. Um it just means that when we turn the camera around, so if we were out in public vlogging now, we decide to point the camera somewhere else. We have to set it up. We have to us. then set it up again. It'll be blurry for a split second, but it's faster than us doing the turn. I don't know what that looks like. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> so yes, <Turning>. so <laughs> without further ado, take a look at what we got up to. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. <laughs> right, so what are you doing like there, darling? I'm making key rings. Key rings? How do you do that like? Yeah. Um, I've got this, well, people have seen it before, but it's Shrinkies, and it's like the white plastic. Oh, right. And uh, you draw whatever you want onto your thing, and it's obviously a plastic Peppa thing. Pig? Peppa Pig, yeah. How do I know that? We haven't even got kids yet. <laughs> and then I shove them in the oven, and when you bring them out, they'll have shrunk, like these. Oh, right. You didn't seem to have them in long, though. No, you don't, because it's red hot. That's why. And you can bend them round things while they're still warm. It goes like really thick. Just look. See how thick that is now oh, compared know. to what that is. Cool. But then I did a giraffe. Cool. And then I did Paw Patrol. And let them cook, and you'll, you'll see how small they go as well. Because you can see them curling when they're in the oven, they curl up and then they unfurl again, which is kind of cool. Right, I'm currently watching some video reviews on the Lumix 
Panasonic Lumix G7. I'm this close to getting it. I really am. Um, sometimes when people say bad things about something, when you're about to buy it, it sort of, I wouldn't say it puts you off, but it halts you buying it. Now, the thing is, right, you know, I need a camera like, like this, like I definitely do. Um, and this had some bad reviews, and I love this camera. It's just it's Sony, um, and Sony are expensive. And if I got the G7, I could get two of these and have interchangeable lenses. So it's a nice camera, but at the same time, it's expensive, and there's no way I would buy two of them. So it depends which way you're looking at it, and it depends what you're after. Um, the only thing I'm worried about was the auto focus. Um, for business purposes, I don't tend to rely on manual, not unless I get better at manual. And by that I mean that even if you get a camera that's got slow auto focus, it's usually faster than my manual focus because I'm inexperienced at it. Which sounds stupid for a cameraman, but I always feel like the auto focus on most cameras I've owned have been okay. Right, um, I've got some tomato feed here. So I am going out to feed my tomatoes. So what I you well I just usually tip a lid full into it, but this time I'm just gonna tip a little bit. And obviously you have to dilute it. So I'm just doing it in a jug at the moment. So I might need to fill it up again, like but We'll go and water my tomato plants. Let's have a look. Adam keeps taking the nick out of us because I keep coming out. But if you look, right, let me see. I have got a couple of flowers blooming. Ah, oh, there they are. You can see a little bit of yellow right there. And obviously my nanas told us that I, when I obviously start to get flowers I have to wash them every other day. I've got carrots so they're getting longer and these are tomatoes and then I've got a few growing on my leeks and then over here as well oh where have I gone there's some flowers what do you think so far am I doing good it's the first time I've ever grown anything so I think I'm doing amazingly well the most horriblest thing happened today to me right I went out to Oliver's for my sandwich and I got absolutely drenched, right? Now you wouldn't think it, looking at the weather out there, because it's lovely and it's actually boiling hot, so the rain hasn't cooled anything down. So I have a feeling me and Tracy are going to be struggling to sleep again, come tonight. But, I finally bought that camera, you know, the G7, I bought it. Um, so, I found a buyer for the other one, so that's why I'm doing it. I sell me old cameras to get new ones, that's what I've been doing for the last couple of years. Seriously recommend doing that because it saves you money and it means you don't have to pay up front for anything and obviously not worry about you know not being able to afford it. You've got the money straight away. If I do like it I'm gonna get another one because um you always need two cameras the same. I've always like sort of mixed and matched, but as a video editor when you're colour grading, it's even worse. Um when one camera interprets colour through the lens differently than the other one. If you have two of the same, you're colour grading from the same starting point. Right, so me and Tracy are going up the shops um, because we need a few things. Now the problem is with this new camera, it's coming tomorrow and they don't deliver on a weekend and I'm out tomorrow so unless it comes before I go out I'm going to miss the bloody thing and I think that the, the depot is a bloody Gated. See, this girl's got the right idea. Cool. Cool and collective. That's what we need to be because it's boiling out there. And I knew, even though oh, well, I wasn't even cold when it was raining, it was one of those sun shower things. But I knew that it wasn't going to cool the air down. I just no. knew it. Just come back from the shops and I'm as sniffly as hell. My hair fever's kicked in. But look, Ace has got a jumbo board that Mammy got for him. And he's there. Uh, <laughs> He's, just he's, op he's opening it up himself. himself. But he is, he's starting to get into That's it. That's why I knew it, that he, he was he was going to use his hands. He was trying to like pull his paw up when you were first giving it. <laughs> you grab it. You get it. Pull. 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 You get it. 
That's a good boy. Did not dog, you spoilt lad. And yeah, you spoiled. Um, yeah, we got in mind a cup with Ace on, because Tracy took some uh, pictures of him when we first got the garden done, and when she first got a DSLR camera, and it was the first time we'd seen like proper good pictures mm. with like some motion blur, which this actually does now. It just shows you how cameras have come on and that. But uh, she bought that with her Christmas money one year, didn't you? I did. Anyway, uh, long story short. She took some pictures out there and we've always favoured these few pictures. It's like the best pictures we've ever taken of the dog. So we stuck one on a cup for Auntie Maureen. Well, the good news is my camera's arrived, right? And the even better news is they give you a time slot, which I had no idea was going to happen. So obviously I could delay going for my dinner. In fact, I've got Oliver's coming to deliver it because obviously I didn't want to leave the house and miss the package. So look, there it is. Oh, actually. I need to go and get the microphone, don't I? Test that for one moment. Right, got the microphone. Oh, I forgot the uh, gorilla pod. One moment. Oh, and he's Oliver's arrived with me dinner. Cool. Right, I've been called out on a job. Um, I need to go and look at some company wants a poster designing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my camera with us and I'll be a bit mess about with it while I'm waiting because this company I do work for to keep you waiting for sometimes 10, 20 minutes so I can I'm gonna take everything with us. Got the gorilla pod, I'm gonna try everything out. Um, so I might not have the camera to do the unboxing, but I'll show you as soon as I get back. So what have you got there then, darling? Well, new vlogging camera, the one that I said I was waiting to, to get, but what happened was I was about to do an unboxing, right? And I was vlogging, and then my dinner come, because Oliver's delivered it, because I didn't want to leave house in case I missed this, because I'm in all day, and what's the better now? They've gone up there, and it had turned up. So I thought, oh, I'm not risking that. And then my mate called, uh, and he wanted a hand for the afternoon with his business, and I didn't have loads on, so and a couple of hours graphic design work, which I did enjoy. So I have already opened it, this isn't a real unboxing. At least you get a battery charge with it. Right, now get this right, I've got some spare batteries coming tomorrow, right? It's £32 for an official Lumix G7 battery. Right. Now I'm getting six and another charger for uh, 50 quid. Start with the show. Obviously that's off the gorilla pod. I mean, feel that. You'd be amazed at how light that is. <laughs> yeah, that really is. I know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So obviously, I already, like, you know, put it up. So that's, that's just. Uh, With uh, the lens on, it'll be a bit heavier, but. It's a bit heavier, and obviously, you can get wide angle lenses, which is what I'm going to do for the vlog eventually. Yeah. Um, and then that'll make it heavier, but still. Um, I still can't get over you explaining to me, right, how. Um, the A6300 by Sony, which is a metal body, this is plastic, is essentially this camera, but it hasn't got the flip screen. Sony refused to do flip screens and I don't know why. Now I think I've been a bit silly in the past of buying Sony cameras just for the sake of I've always used them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And the A6300 overheats, right, after about 15 minutes or something. The Sony RX uh, 100 Mark 5, which is the fifth model up from what your recorder is on, that overheats after five minutes. So how can Panasonic bring out a, a small camera like that and like this that rivals the Sony one that doesn't overheat? It, 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 it boggles my mind. I'll, uh, I'll flip the screen. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll throw it on here first. And I'll flip the screen, and if you keep rolling, we'll be able to switch between different quality. And I think I might have zoomed, yep I've zoomed, zoomed in there. So there you go, so that's basically, I mean on the on the Gorilla Pod that's not bad for a, for a vlogging lens I don't think. Um, it's got face recognition on so it should be tracking me all the time but what about if I put it on you and I'll go off. So this is the thing, this is, this is a test by the way guys, we'll put this in the vlog but obviously I'm just uh, getting to. So I can stop this one now? Yeah you can stop it now yeah. So I'm trying to obviously get, you know, used to the autofocus. Now, at the, I've heard that there's 
a lot of people have complained that the autofocus is bad on here. Um, now I, I will be using this camera for my business if it's got a, a micro four third sensor in, which is better than basically this one, which is my business camera. Now for the vlogging, I'll probably use the Rode Video Mic Go, which I've got on this camera, but I'll probably use the Rode Video Mic Pro on this camera when I'm doing professional work. I mean that's really focusing in like fine there like I must admit. Oh and this camera records for up to 30 minutes before it stops recording so that's even better. I don't know, I don't know what that smells like, I smelled that before. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. <laughs> we can't see the top. I don't it's like a hunter's chicken, so it's chicken with bacon wrapped around it. Oh, nice. It's too hot and. Oh, yeah. no, that's horrible. Horrible when it's like this. I hate this. He hates body heat. Yeah, I do. Ooh, ooh. I like... get few and far between hugs. Yeah, but does that not make you sweat? Just that I'm like. Nah. <gasps> it's really bad. I've been a, I know, I've been a lot hotter at work because obviously. Uh, being in the home that I'm in, they have the windows shut some of the time and you're running around and it's just a lot hotter. And I spent my whole dinner break on the phone for the flaming GPs for you. We'll not talk about that yet. Well, we can basically say that it's about uh, fertility. Yeah. All, 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 all we're going to say is, bang in a jar. And that's all we have to say. <laughs> right. right, so I've. I've, uh, I've had a look back over the footage and it's it's crisp as out. Like, you, you can tell that the footage is like a lot better than the other 4K camera just because obviously the sensor's better. You can see that straight away. Um, and I haven't even looked on my 5K IMAX screen. This was just on me on my three monitor setup. But it's a learning curve, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's, that's what it's all about. Um, new cameras, new settings and stuff like that. I will say this, even though I am used to Sony menu systems because I've used Sony cameras for a long time, it does seem like it's very um, more user friendly, the, the, the Panasonic cameras, definitely more user friendly so I'm, I'm certainly interested in you know getting to use that sort of different OS on the camera a lot more but the touch screen is lovely. Right there's one thing that uh, I've noticed about this camera is it doesn't tend to like sort of you know um, zoom in as much like the crop factor is not too bad so I'm wondering if that's going to happen on other um, lenses or whether the kit lens is actually makes it better I have no idea. Now I also think that this uh, this microphone, the, the, so, uh, the Rode Video Mic Go is non-powered and I think this is absolutely perfect for, uh, for vlogging um, and the thing is you don't have to worry about it being turned on. This looks amazing. I know it looks weird that I'm watching myself right but this is absolutely crystal clear it's like to see a 4k camera and 4k camera footage on a 5k IMAX screen it's absolutely fantastic see that's proper proper healthy there isn't it except for the sauce I suppose and a little bit of cheese well, apart from that it's nearly, nearly almost healthy. almost healthy. healthy yeah you might want some butter for your Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Of course I do. Right, so I think I've sorted out the, uh, the focusing, right? It needs to be in video mode. And when you go in video mode, it always seems to keep whatever you have in shot in focus. So obviously I should be in focus now. And then if I turn round, excuse me, and then, I don't know, zoom in on the Superman or something, he should come into focus. There you go. So it's like proper in focus now, is it? Yeah. Right, so if I go up and walk in here, stay there. Am I still in focus? Yes. And then if I come back down, sit back down, am I still in focus? Yes. So I think it is just how it slightly adjusts to the weather, I think. Do you know what I mean? So so hopefully that'll be, that'll be all right. But I, I don't know if it's because it's a new camera, but the battery's like mint. Right, now the thing is, it's hard to see outside, mm. but it's supposed to be able to do is close this up and look through here. Ah, oh, right, okay. The only thing is it's stopped recording now. Oh, that's it. 
Oh no, it's not it's still recording. It's still recording. Oh, right, well, no, but you can still you can still see in like yeah, you the can. sunlight. It's actually quite impressive that. Yeah. So that's always good to shoot outside because obviously it's uh, it's always bad, isn't it? Just look at uh, my flowers are blooming. Like That's it. what creates the tomatoes. But that water's still like wet. Same over here. It's like so I've got. Nice of water though. Oh look, we'll have even more. You you meant to water them every day, and I think yeah. But my nana always tells us if you see lots of little shoots coming up, take them off because obviously. You, takes a lot of water and stuff to be able to grow these new shoots. There's Tracy watering the plants again. She really wants these tomatoes and things to grow, bless her. I hope you do like, I mean it's exciting for her, you know, to think that these might actually grow into something we can eat. It is quite cool, isn't it? Oh hell, I'm getting kisses on both cheeks. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's getting his bloody wetter, that's the thing. Dog, honestly, you need to chill out on the kisses. Oh, and guess what? <laughs> I phoned <laughs> my nana uh, to get advice. Yeah, Lee, stop leaning back. Um, okay, doggy. And Thank basically, you. she wants to help out as much as she can because she knows that, obviously, it's my first time doing all this gardening stuff. Yeah, but you know what? She's, she sees it as something you can do together. Yes, Because you've does. taken an interest in something yeah. that she's... I mean, she, she, your nan, nan is quite knowledgeable, so she'll oh, be she able to give is, some yeah. good advice. She said that I could, like, ask her anything and she'll try and help us out. Cause she said to us that she learned by trial and error. Mm. And it was like, you'll have to do the same. But yeah. obviously, I'm here to help you this time. Nice flying visit, isn't it? I'll tell you what, right? No, honestly, bless her, right? She, she's only trying to help because Tracy just wanted to ring her. And she just wanted to say, like, you know, talk about the garden because she's got something in common where she couldn't get her off the floor. Leave them till they're about the size of that. Right. And you've got one or two. Because I was going to say, three leaves. They're getting quite long. No, no. no. They're big enough for you to take a hold of, take out of your compost. And replant them. Just think right. you'll be able to eat. One leek. Right. I'm looking forward and to getting. Carrots. I think I'm more excited about the leeks than the uh, carrots and, and, and the tomatoes. tomatoes. Uh, I love me leeks. So like. she done them all right then, Mum. Beautiful. It had a and a leaf. Getting more there. A leaf well. on yeah. it that you yeah. don't need. There, that's the next one to come through, and that one. It's the one that you should have nipped out. How high is it going to well, grow? Why? She's got no. She's got mm. flowers in there. Yes, but Gina, that is one of the ones that she should have nipped out. Well, because I... it's grown above a leaf. Ah, oh, right. It smells of uh... tomatoes. No, I can't well, that say smells of like uh, dock leaves or something to me. Mm. Foul traitor comes. Let us know. Call at mine, and I'll give you a, another off. couple of long bamboos, so our Tracy can. Oh Absolutely. darling, we haven't got any Absolutely. shortage of bamboos, you should just pull them out of the, there when they pop up. And there you go, there's the advice for Tracy. So was that was that beneficial that was? Oh definitely. Yeah, you enjoy the enjoy the It's nice to see my nana come over yeah. because she doesn't come over very Mind often. Mind I'll tell you so. what, she knows what she's talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. You can you can whack it, can you? Obviously we had some uh shoes. See how cold she is, have you? See how cold you because you've got something yeah. in common with her now. Yeah. She probably like, never lost the I'm so now. proud of oh. you. It's like, You'll oh. have to make a habit of when you pick your first tomato, taking a picture and send it to your mum's phone because your mum goes over more Sundays to show mm -hmm. her and ring her and tell her and say, Nana, Adam's just tasted one of your tomatoes and he says they're lovely. You know, they she love, they love out like that. Nana. Well, I've got like, I think it's about 20 in almost each pot. So oh. we're going to have like 20 odd tomato plants <laughs> eventually. I would, I would rather have one, I mean, it's easy to change the lenses, but I would rather have one lens to serve all purposes, right? Um, now, yes, I could have a vlogging lens, and I could have a professional lens as well, I, I realise that. But the wide angle that this lens that I'm looking at gives you is going to be perfect for client work. Um, and that's the bit, that's the kicker, right? Now, for instance, let, let's just say I was doing a reality show. I can see the house roofs on here, right? Now, on a camcorder, a 4K camcorder, I could zoom in and give a shot of the aerial, you know, get 
lovely nice you know something in the in the in the foreground in focus and lovely very blurry background do loads of cutaways to streets you know traffic you know whatever you, you cut away needed to be to move from one scene to the other and i couldn't do that with this lens and i need to know whether i could do that with a, a ultra wide lens so i can get more of the room on and they don't seem to do both and it's doing me head in right it's the weekend so we're gonna go for a nice meal together and as tracy said spending time together is nice right i mean it does cost money but you know like she said it's it's money to spend time doing things together and uh tracy's just been just getting ready haven't you doll yep he's my lovely wife <laughs> so we uh we, i'm treating us so yeah. it's, like, mm -hmm. it's usually the man most of the time because this is mostly me mm -hmm. isn't it but she's been she's been kind she's been paid the day so she's that I have she's te uh, treating this uh, self-employed young man to a a nosh <laughs> well not that type of nosh perverts <laughs> I mean like something to eat so uh, well you know going down to the Italians because yes. they do a nice uh, surf and turf with like garlic isn't it garlic? I'll tell you what right I don't like to be boring when I go out for meals no, but I've been proper boring. Like la last weekend, we went somewhere together for our tea, mm -hmm. and I had a steak there. Yeah. And I had a steak with my dad for Father's Day because we had something to eat like midway through the day because we'd been drinking since twelve o'clock. Tends to go for meat dishes like just... the mixed grill as well. You Aye. tend to get that a lot, don't you? As well? So I might even get something different tonight as long as it's got steak in. As well. See, bargain, right? Here's a tip for you guys, right? Whatever camera you've got. <laughs> Like professional wise or business, right? Or you know, even vlogging and stuff like that. Doesn't matter if you've got a point and shoot or you've got like a, a more decent one, get compatible batteries. Don't buy the original because it's a, it's a rip off. It's a good job everyone on YouTube likes watching this, isn't it? Aye. Yeah, you, I think the reason why we've got the subscribers we've got is because of you. Aye, because you're too cute, aren't you? You're like a little TV star, aren't you? So it was 32 quid for a battery officially from Panasonic. Oh, it was 52 quid for six batteries. One, two. Yeah, six batteries and a charger. And now obviously it came with a charger. But you know, when, you, when, you, when you're busy like I am, you've got work to do for clients or when you're vlogging, you need to have uh, enough. That's because you're used to opening birthday presents. And Christmas presents, aren't you? I need a Batman knife. All oh, right, look, I see, look. Oh, I, I didn't tell you that, did I, darling? You know that Batman knife that looks like a battery rang? Yeah. You know how much it is? How much? 70 bloody pounds. 70? Aye, because it's, a, it's, it's yeah. a, I think it's based on the Arkham Asylum game, which I wouldn't know because I'm not a, a game fan. But there you go, look. So, battery number one. Oh, that's quite good, isn't it? But and this this is also, I suppose these companies have to have an incentive for you to get these batteries, right? But the official one didn't come in one of them, <laughs> and that'll protect the pins one at a time. We'll charge them while we awake. You know what I mean? Because I'll turn them up. And there you go. Red light, green light when charged, which is actually quite confusing because. It's the first camera I've ever bought the official battery for this on the official Lumix G7 charger is green as soon as you plug it in. Green means that's charged. That goes from red to green. The official one goes from green to no light when it's charged up. You don't go out in the rain to chase a bird and not go out when you desperately need the toilet. You're just shooting yourself in the foot by default by not doing that. Because he's the one who wants to go to the toilet. Yes, you're a mad dog. Yeah, the birdie's gone. He, we bought him a Chewy, which we showed you, and obviously it was like quite a big one, so he was eating it, and he was a good almost halfway through it, and we said we shouldn't really let him eat all of that in one night, so we said, go get the birdies outside. It's funny, like, it? And he went ra running outside to try and find these birds that weren't there, but the thing is, and he know, put it in the drawer to hide it from, so you know he know how we get him? You know how we actually them. get him? Well, that, that's like saying to the pervert. There's a porn mark and then running off and then going, where, where? It's like, what do you say that with birdies, don't you, dog? Yeah. Yes. You don't like birdies, do you not, son? Not in his garden, he doesn't. Because, it, well, it's our garden. We paid the sudden money, but he's claimed it. Oh, hello. Oh, you want to 
Oh, he's taking his rightful place. Oh, he's wet. Lovely. Oh, he's wet. Nice clean jammers for now. Come on, son, get down. Oh, look at that. He's wet the couch as well. Whose idea was it to get a green? Light green couch? Oh, that's right. It was ours. Shit. There you go. It's be better to not yeah. use the footage because, like I say, now now we come now this week we're vlogging for next week's episode with our new um, camera. Well, yeah, but well we we did vlog with a new camera, yeah. but what I mean is with our new uh, setting, mm. which is auto focus, manual focus mode. Yeah. I don't even know what you call it. It's just a button that focuses for you, but it's like manual other than that. So yes, this is a little vlog, but mainly it's a camera test. And effing about with it, but you know you've you've got to do that, haven't you? And 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 to be honest with you, there was no time to do a vlog, so I just thought, oh, we'll just use this footage. So I do apologise if it goes blurry, but it's just us messing about. And everybody likes seeing my face when I open a new gadget in a box, don't you? I hope so. I think it's me that the, and actually no, that's telling a lie. It's the dog, it's the dog that uh, the tune in for. <laughs> so hopefully we're back. In full swing, we're back into routine again now that we've got a reliable camera. Mm -hmm. Or rather, we can use it better than we used to be able to. So, we'll see you next week for a brand new up to date as it happens vlog. Another one that was pre recorded two weeks ago. But at least you've got some new content oh, from us. Yeah, she always does it. <laughs> so, until then, take care of yourself and I hope you have a good week and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching and bye bye. See you later.